Hey guys, James Grandstaff here. All right, what I want to do here is share an email with you from a customer of mine. Uh, this person, Jim, had purchased the Insider's Guide to Retargeting on Facebook, and he brought to my attention some things that have changed within the Power Editor, and some of the screenshots in the report are a little bit outdated because the Facebook had made some changes to the Power Editor. So I want to walk you through this here. First, I'm going to read this, and then I'll show you um, what I think is going on here. So it says, unfortunately, I found it very difficult to follow and use because it appears to be out of date. My power editor screen when creating the ads and tying everything together didn't look, didn't look what you were showing in your ebook. Perhaps I missed something along the way, but I wasn't able to get it work because I couldn't follow along when creating the ads. So I just went into the power editor, actually looked in the report, and I was going through all the screenshots, and I'm like, okay, I think I know what's going on here. And Facebook did make an update in the power editor in regards to how we create unpublished page posts or dark posts that they're not even really called that anymore. The only reason we created dark posts in the past is because we were able to use, you know, more text above the image. We could put a headline, a description, and it was just really easy to, um, you know, customize it and make it look the way we want. Whereas the regular ads manager kind of limited us in terms of like how much text we could use. We could only do a, a certain amount of, um, you know, 25 characters for the headline. You know, there were a lot of restrictions. So we created unpublished page posts or dark posts. So we had more uh, creative freedom to include more text and headlines and things like that. So I want to walk you through how to do this here in this video. And it's actually, they've made it a lot easier. The power editor is actually a lot easier to use now in terms of creating what we used to call dark posts or unpublished page posts. Now they're just kind of referring to it as news feed eligible ads. So let me walk you through that real quick. So the first thing you want to do when you come into your power editor is click the download to power editor and then select the account that you want to work on. If it's just you, you'll probably only have your account. So then once you do that, you'll see these three tabs here, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So what you want to do is click on the campaigns tab and then click the plus sign where it says create campaign. And then just type in your campaign name. And then the buying type, we always, I always select auction and then the objective clicks to website, product catalog sales, and there's a whole slew of them here. I usually go with either clicks to website, website conversions, or page post engagement. In this case, I'm just going to select website conversions because I want to use a pixel to track. And then I'm going to click create. And then I highlight the campaign that I just created and everything down here is, is good. So we're done with this step or this tab, I should say. Then you want to come over here to the right and click view ad sets. And you should see none. Then you come up here and click the plus sign that says create ad set. And I'm also just going to name this test one. Whoops and click create. And now I can come down here and choose use existing pixel. Select, I could set my budget. I'm just going to leave it here at the default a schedule. If you don't touch this, it'll just start automatically when the ad is approved audience. This is where you come in and you click edit audience. And then you can come in here and do your locations. So for United States, Canada, whoever you want to target. Uh, age group, gender, more demographics here. And then down here would be the interest. So if you have very specific interests that you want to target, like if you're, you know, if you're selling a product related to golf or you want to target golf fans, then you would select golf. And now you could have the potential to reach, you know, 21 million people. So I'm going to click save. Then down below here, we have placement. Uh, news feed, mobile news feed, desktop news feed, desktop right, and audience network. Again, this is something that you'll have to test, but normally I just go with uh, desktop news feed, whoops, and mobile. So we're going to uncheck those two. And then down here for optimization and pricing, we have website conversions, daily unique reach, uh, clicks and impressions. I always leave it at the recommended, which is website conversions, because that's my overall objective for this campaign. And then you can, you can select the, or by default, it'll show you get the most website conversions at the best price. And that's fine. If, but lately we've been, I've been seeing with some of my clients that Facebook won't send the traffic for whatever reason when we select this. And um, it just could be a, a change in their algorithm. Who knows? So if you are experiencing that where you're not getting that, you create a new ad, it gets approved and you're not getting traffic, just come over here and click this button and then crank this up to, you know, $45 if you want, or, or, or you could start at 30 or whatever 
you know, the, the, the most you're willing to pay for a conversion. Now, that doesn't mean you will pay that for a conversion. It just means that Facebook, you're telling Facebook that you're willing to, so they'll start sending you the traffic. If I, I have things set at, you know, $30 and yet I only pay $30 per lead, or, or I'm sorry, I have it set to $30 per lead, but it, it only costs, you know, two or three or, you know, two, three, four, five dollars to get a lead. So I just wanted to kind of bring that up to you. Uh, next thing, then over here in the corner, click uh, t top right corner again, click view ads. And then click create ad. And again, we're just going to name this test one. Click create. And then down here for Facebook page, you're going to want to select your Facebook page. Actually, I'll just do a client one here because this is the ad copy that I'm going to demonstrate here. Okay, so now we have the option of doing multiple images and links or a single image or video and link. So in this case, I'm just going to do an image. So all of this stuff, this area here, website URL, display URL, text, headline, newsfeed, link description, and then image, call to action, and then you have an option to do more tracking pixels. We used to have to set this up way differently, so they've actually improved this, so it's, it's quite easy to do now. So what I do is usually have a text file of all this information ready to go. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'm going to put this here and just literally go back and forth and just copy and paste everything in. And we have display link. And as you create it, everything kind of appears over on the right hand side there. So you get a, a preview of what it looks like. And description. Whereas uh, before, when we did the unpublished page, po page post, you didn't have the ability to see what it looked like ahead of time. So you would create it. And if it didn't look right, you had to go back and do it again. And it was kind of cumbersome and it was kind of a pain in uh, you know what. So, And then for the, call, for the call to action, actually they give us another one down here now. They give us watch more, which is uh, pretty cool. That's kind of a new one that we're able to put in there. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to do shop now. And these this isn't, isn't the actual correct pixel, but that's okay. Um, so here, let me pull this up for you. All right, so this is exactly what it's going to look like on the news uh, desktop news feed. And this is what it'll look like in the mobile news feed. So once you think everything looks good, then you can just go ahead and click upload changes and you're good to go. And that campaign will be, will be created within your ads account. Uh, so yeah, this gives us some, um, a bit of an, uh, contains, Oh, look at this. Hey, look at this image contains more than 20% text. They've actually, uh, detected it immediately. So you can go in and change that instead of getting the ad disapproved. So that's very cool. Yeah. So the power editor is, uh, they're, 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 they're making changes, you know, they're making it easy for us. Uh, we just have to, the, the trouble is just trying to keep up with all these changes, right? So that's why I hope, uh, hope these videos that I've been making for you guys have been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below and we'll see you in the next one.